Hello everybody. My name is Mansoor Suhail. By profession, I'm an accountant and a tax consultant based in Toronto, Canada. I have been studying the stock markets for over 20 years and also have been trading for a very long time on part-time basis. I feel that stock trading is a skill that everyone should know. I have therefore decided to launch some courses about stock trading. A guide to technical analysis. It's my first course on the subject. I'm sure you will learn some valuable insight about the technical analysis from this course. I am not a financial advisor, nor am I a financial analyst. I strongly recommend and stress that you should do your own due diligence and talk to your financial advisor before investing in stocks, ETFs, mutual funds, or any financial instrument. I share my knowledge for educational purposes only, and it should not be construed as an advice for buying or selling any financial instrument. What is technical analysis? Technical analysis is the forecasting of future financial price movements based on an examination of past price movements. Technical analysis is applicable to stocks, indices, commodities, futures or any tradable instrument where the price is influenced by the forces of supply and demand. It is a process to analyze historical prices of a financial instrument and predict the future prices. Current and historical prices are compared to come up with a reasonable expectation. What are price fields? Technical analysis is based on the analysis of price action and volume. Below are the fields that define price and volume of a financial instrument. Open – this is the price at which the first trade of the day takes place. High – this is the highest price at which a financial instrument traded in the day. Low – this is the lowest price at which a financial instrument traded during the trading period. Close, this is the last price that a financial instrument traded at during the trading period. Volume, this is the number of shares or contracts that were traded during the trading period. Open interest, this is the total number of outstanding contracts that have been not closed or exercised. Bid, this is the price a market maker is willing to pay to buy a financial instrument. Ask, this is the price a market maker is willing to accept for a financial instrument. What is computerized trading? Our decisions are based on our emotions. Some investors try removing emotions out of their trading decision by using computers to decide for them. Mechanical systems can help us separate our emotions from our decisions up to some extent. There are many trading systems available in the market in which you can specify by sell rules. The software will calculate each trade and will determine how much would you have made or lost. However, these trading systems fail many times because markets are not as predictable as the computer systems make them look like. What is human element in stock trading? The price of a financial instrument shows a consensus it is a price at which a buyer agrees to buy and a seller agrees to sell a financial instrument. A buyer will buy a financial instrument if he thinks that the price of the instrument will go up and he will sell if he thinks that the price will go down. Because the selling and buying of the financial instruments is based on the human speculations it is unlikely that a mechanical trading system will work consistently. The decisions of humans are influenced by so many factors around them like the family, neighbors, employer, income, successes, failures and expectations. Thanks for watching the introduction. In the next section, we'll talk about charts, trends, support and resistance, with some examples.